How do you model guilt in economic models? And would you ever want to build guilt into an economic model? Well, I'm doing a series on how to model charitable giving. And of course, um, guilt might be one motivation behind charitable giving. So let's go to the whiteboard. Now, if we're modeling charitable donations, we might start by asking ourselves, why would anyone ever give to a charitable organization? And we'll just brainstorm reasons. Um, you might come up with a list that looks something like this. Maybe they donate to alleviate any guilt they feel or any guilt that's been incited in them based on advertising or based on pressure from friends or whatnot. Um, it could be altruism, and of course altruism is divided into pure altruism, which is where it's just sort of purely motivated by trying to help others by seeing others in a good place. Or it could be impure altruism, which could be either um, buying for social status or else um, just helping your own self-esteem. So maybe even if you got no social credit, even if it's completely anonymous, you just feel good about yourself from donating. It, it diagnoses you as the type of person to donate. Um, or it could be that by donating, you actually view yourself as increasing the chances that something will happen in the economy that you value. For example, you might donate to a band that you like because you believe that if you donate, there's a greater chance that band will produce more music that you will then enjoy. So um, this is a list of reasons why someone might want to donate. I'll build a model, a quick model that includes all of them, and then I'm going to create a separate video going through different items on this list. Okay, so here we've got a model that's got many of these, not everything on this list, but most of them. So the choice variable here is donations, how much to donate. Um, our first term is going to be guilt. Um, you donate in order to alleviate guilt, and of course because guilt is a bad thing, it's going to have a negative sign in front of it. Now, in front of each term in my model, I've put an importance weight, which um, which is helpful to think about each person might have different inherent weights they place on these different things. Some people are highly responsive to guilt. Some people are highly responsive to the social status that goes along with giving. Others might um, be more responsive to self-esteem. So we might imagine each person having a different importance weight depending on their personality and their, their background and their characteristics. So those will be in front of each term. So guilt depends on how much you give, where giving money, donating money, reduces guilt. And then plus an importance weight on utility of the recipient that you're giving to. So um, uh, you, you actually care about the utility of the person you're giving to. That's pure altruism if it's really about their utility rather than about your utility from giving. Um, and altruism, I, I think of altruism as an importance weight. How much are you motivated by utility of the person that you're giving to or the group that you're giving to? And their utility, of course, depends on your donations. And then we have diagnostic utility or self-esteem utility. So donating will, will diagnose you as the type of person who donates and that will make you feel good about yourself. And of course, that's got an importance weight. And then we've got the status utility, um, where donating, of course, is going to increase your status. And the, the group of people you spend your time with may influence um, the importance weight you place on this, or perhaps even the shape of this. And then our cost, all of these are benefits of donating. Our cost is simply going to be D. Now, of course, you could add curvature to this by saying um, the financial cost and having that uh, increasing at the margin, but the simplest way is just to say minus D minus the donations. So the benefit of donating all these other factors needs to out needs to um, be enough to equal the cost of donating. That will give you your cost benefit analysis in this model. And you could analyze each of these parts separately, which I'm going to do in separate videos. So let's simplify the model and just look at guilt to begin with. Here we have the simplest possible model of charitable donations where our main motivation for giving is guilt. And of course, this is just one component, but I'd like to separate this out and look at the comparative statics of this model separately from the other motivators in charitable giving. So we have a person gives in order to reduce their guilt. That's the benefit of giving is that you get to reduce your guilt minus D, but you lose the money. 
So if we're going to um, model this, we need to draw a picture of our guilt function. And my sense here is that our guilt function looks something like this, that um, you, the more you give, the less guilt you're going to have, but after you've given quite a bit, there's a lower reduction in guilt because you've already given money, um, but that, that never quite goes away. Um, now, of course, if you do the comparative statics, this model is going to be optimized where um, the tangent of the guilt line is equal to negative one. So um, at this point, we have marginal benefit equals marginal cost. The marginal cost, of course, is one dollar that, that you get. And the marginal benefit um, should be uh, the tangent of the guilt, the reduction in guilt from giving that extra dollar. So that should give us the solution to this optimization problem. Now, when I'm having students model guilt, I oftentimes like to introduce the concept of a suggested donation. What should you set the suggested donation at? And how do you build that into this model? So I'm going to challenge you to take this very simple model and figure out if you were to introduce S, the suggested donation, where would you insert that in this model? So you can pause the video and try to do that on your own. And now I will show you how I do that. So here, the level of guilt you feel depends on how much you give, and particularly how much you give relative to a suggested donation. So how might you modify this particular graph to incorporate the suggested donation. And once again, I'd like you to try this on your own by stopping the video and trying to adjust the shape of this graph to include a suggested donation. Let's, let's think about this. And there are, of course, a number of different ways of doing this, but a suggested donation is going to be a point at some point along this donation um, pathway. It is a version of how much you donate. And so I'm going to put a vertical line through there. And if you haven't come up with some new graph, you might look at this version of the graph and try to do it on your own now. Um, but this is the version that I tend to prefer for this particular problem. All right, so the change in shape that I have made to this graph when we introduced the suggested donation is that giving any amount less than the suggested donation, of course, giving could reduce your guilt. But it doesn't reduce your guilt as much as it would if there were no suggested donation, as long as the amount you're giving is below suggested donation. So it reduces your guilt, but not as quickly as if there were no suggested donation. But once you reach that suggested donation, suddenly there's no guilt. You've, you've met the suggested donation, you can walk through the doors of that business or that, that nonprofit feeling completely fine about how much you've given. Whereas if there's no suggested donation, you can never really get rid of the guilt because you always think, well, I could have given more. Um, so I, I think this is a reasonable way of modeling the effect of suggested donation on the guilt donation relationship. And of course, that's going to influence the comparative statics. Now, I'm going to do a deeper analysis of the suggested donation situation along with comparative statics in another video. But I hope this gives you a sense for how you would model guilt um, in the context of charitable donations.